Hello friends, hope you are doing well. In this discussion, you can see how to give module specific version name. If you missed previous video related Odoo directory structure link given in description. In the world of software management, uh, there exists a dreaded class called dependency. The bigger your system grows and the more packages you integrate in your software, the more likely you are to find yourself one day in this bit of this pair. In systems with many dependencies, releasing new package versions can quickly become a nightmare. If the dependency specifications are too tight, the inability to upgrade a package without having to release a new versions of every dependent packages. As a solution to this problem, Samware proposed a simple set of rules and requirements that dictate how version numbers are assigned and incremented. These rules are based on but not necessarily limited to pre-existing widespread common practices in use in both closed and open source software. For this system to work, you first need to declare a public API and this may con consist of documentation or to be enforced by the code itself. It is important that this API be clear and precise. Once you identify your public API, you communicate changes to it with uh, specific increments to your version numbers. Consider a version format of x dot y dot zero. Here x stands for major, y for minor, and z for patch. I call this system semantic versioning. Under the scheme, version numbers and the way they change convey meaning about underlying code and what has been modified from one version to the next. A normal version must take the form x.y.z where x, y and z are non-negative integers and must not contain leading zeros. x is the major version, y is the minor version and z is the patch version. Each element must increase numeric like 9 to 10, 10 to 11, so on. Major version 0 is for initial development a uh, patch version like z must be increased if only backward compatible bug fixes are introduced a bug fix is defined as internal change that fixes are incorrect behavior minor version y must be increased if new backward compatible functionalities is introduced to the public API. It must be increased if substantial new functionality or improvements are introduced within the private code. It may include patch level changes. Patch version must be reset to zero when minor version is incremented. Well, major version must be increased if any backwards incompatible changes are introduced to the public API. It may also include minor and patch level changes. Patch and minor version must be reset to zero when major version is incremented. Now we will move to the existing Odoo modules. It will be having more ideas about how to give a specific name of version. Uh, here you can see. Uh, list of all modules uh, first we will go to CRM click on module info menu and here you can see the latest version is 13.0.1.0 uh, this is the patch version this is the mi minor version and this is the major version and this is the Odoo's version by default right now we are using 13th uh, version of Odoo so by default it's a 13 then after that it's a X you can consider Y and Z X stands for major Y for minor and Z for patch level 
so here you can see uh, any other if we will go to the project uh, here you can see minor is a one and patch is a one by default uh, if you don't specify any version naming module in manifest file it will uh, having only 13.0.1.0 uh, here you can see contacts this is the by default version if any developer will not add this key then by default Odoo will use this one 13.0.1.0 if we will move to the PyCharm and checking this contact module and here you can see there is no any mention any key so by default Odoo will use that one so i hope you enjoyed this discussion in case you having any doubts or suggestion please comment below and see you in next video and please subscribe this channel and share this video